Welcome to Nikki's Color Club. My name is Nikki Musco, your dog walker and pet sitter. Today we were talking about a list of 10 dog walking tips that will make your walks more enjoyable for both you and your dog. Number one, does your dog pull you? Use a front clip harness. Why might you ask? Dog collars and harnesses that clip on the back actually promote a dog's natural reaction to pull. Getting a front clip harness is a dog walker's best investment. Make sure you realize that while the front clip harness helps, you still need to work on dog walking basics. Number two, let your dog sniff around. It's mentally stimulating. Dog walking is more than just physical exercise. Typically, the only time your dog gets a fresh breath of air is on their walk. Give them time to sniff around and enjoy the fresh air. Obviously, be careful with where your four-legged friend wants to take you on their sniffing journey. A great way to promote sniffing, next time your dog is ready, just loosen the leash slightly and say, go sniff. When it's time to move on, say, let's walk. A nice slow walk with lots of sniffs can be just as energy draining for your dog as a fast run around the block. Number three, please don't use a retractable leash for dog walks. Number one recommending tip is to ditch the retractable leash. The length of the leash can make it unsafe for you and your pup. These leashes tend to break when enough force is applied and for among many other reasons. Number four, pick up your dog's poop. Not only is picking up your dog's feces the right and neighborly thing to do, but it's the sanitary thing to do. Other pets and humans can be harmed from the bacteria that's left behind. Pet waste may contain harmful organisms such as Giardia, E. coli, roundworms, hookworms, and salmonella that can spread to the other animals and humans. And when pet waste is left on the ground, those diseases, pathogens, and bacteria make their way into the soil and pollute water supply. Number five, have H2O ready and waiting. This should be common sense, at least one would think. If you go out for a walk or run and it's in the 80s or the 90s, do you wear a jacket and pants? Well, our furry, little, or big friends have permanent fall wear. If you are hot, imagine how hot they are with all that fur. Have water ready for your dog. This goes for those of you that take your dog everywhere. Number six, make sure your dog has ID. You just never know what the day has in store for your walk. Always, always have ID for your dog to prepare for the worst. Number seven, watch out for hot pavement. If you can't put your bare hand or foot on the cement for longer than five seconds without having to pull back, you don't need to go on a walk. Those doggy pads on their feet are tough, but not invincible. Number eight, Keep your dogs focused by bringing their favorite treats. Does a potential squirrel sighting scare you on your walk? Dogs can become so laser focused that it takes some high value treats to break the concentration. You know your walking buddy, so be prepared. Number nine, ask before approaching other dogs. This is super important for your dog's safety as well as yourself and other dog owners. Not all dogs are friendly and it just takes one dog to ruin everything for everyone. Even if both dogs are known to be friendly, the best way I like to explain is just because two people are friendly does not mean the chemistry will be right. Last but not least, number 10. Wear reflective gear if you walk during the evening. Don't be that guy or gal that makes it dangerous for drivers, bicyclists, and your dog because you don't wear reflective gear. This goes for you and your dog. I hope you enjoyed our top 10 dog walking tips. Please share your experiences below and if you would like to learn more about us, please visit our website or give us a call. See you soon. Bye everyone.